everybody, this is Heather at the Homesteading Hippie, and today we're going to learn how to make some bar soap. I have the recipe on my blog complete with pictures, however I've had a lot of requests to do a video, so we're going to get started. To get started making your own soap, there's lots of recipes you can find. Today we're going to do the recipe that I make most often for my family. It's an unscented soap that gets lots of creamy lather. What you need, some olive oil, castor oil, coconut oil, and cocoa butter. You're also going to need to make your soap sodium hydroxide or lye. You can also find this at your local hardware store. It's actually called Roto-Rooter and it's a caustic. This is what will saponify the soaps into or the oils into your soap. To neutralize that we're going to need a 32 ounce bottle of white vinegar and what I did is I filled up my sink with hot soapy water and dumped about half of the white bottle of white vinegar in there. You're also going to need some safety equipment. I wear special glasses when I'm mixing the lye and a digital scale. This is very important that you're measuring out the items by weight. I have a stir stick and a spatula to scrape all the oils and a couple of bowls to get things measured. You're also going to need 21 ounces of water. So again, it's important to make sure you're wearing safety equipment. And we're going to be measuring the lye right here. We need 7.4 ounces. And any equipment that touches the lye needs to go directly into the vinegar water when finished. So now we're going to take and put the lye into the water. And it's very important that you put the lye into the water versus the water into the lye. Because if you put the water over the lye, it could create a chemical volcano. I put mine in an open windowsill so that way the fumes will go outside. If you don't have an open windowsill, may I suggest maybe putting it underneath a stove or oven fan or maybe try to do this outside if you can. Again, the safety equipment is very important. And then the bowl and spoon are going to go directly into the soapy water with the vinegar to help neutralize the caustic on them. Okay, the next thing we're going to do while the lye is cooling in the windowsill is we're going to measure our solid oils. That would be the cocoa butter and the coconut oil. For this recipe, we need four ounces of cocoa butter. And again, it's very important that we measure it by weight. We are right on. We're going to tear our scale and then we'll just add our coconut oil and we need 24 ounces of solid coconut oil in there. Now if your coconut oil is in liquid form, you can measure it with your liquid oils, but ours usually stays in a solid form except for the very, very hottest parts of summer. Okay, we've got exactly 24 ounces, one pound, eight ounces. Our next step is to melt this over a double boiler, which is basically a pot with water that the glass bowl can sit in and the oils can gently melt. This usually takes about three to five minutes to get it all together, but it's important that they melt, but not get too hot. Okay, our next step while our solid oils are melting is to add our liquid oil. We need two ounces of castor oil. So I'm going to pour that into the bowl right here. And, and then we need 24 ounces of olive oil for this recipe. The olive oil is going to make it a nice hard bar. Okay. Now, we're going to cook this in a crock pot. But what we're doing is called heat process soap. So our crock pot, I actually got this one at a thrift store for like five dollars and the older ones seem to work better because they don't get as hot. But if it gets too hot, the lye may not work as well. So I've turned it on, on low. I'm going to go ahead and add our liquid oils to it. Making sure to get everything out as much as possible. Okay. 
and we're going to go check on the solid oils on the stove. Okay, so the oils are almost melted. This is the coconut oil and the cocoa butter. And you'll notice I've left a little bit of chunks kind of floating around. I don't want the oils to get too hot. So I've actually turned the heat off and just kind of like letting it finish and stirring it up. The lye will not saponify the oils as well if the oils are too hot. So I'm going to kind of cool them off just a little bit before we add them to the crock pot. Okay, so we're just going to add the coconut oil and the cocoa butter that have been melted to the castor oil and the olive oil. And those are all in the crock pot. And then to this, we're going to add the lye. Okay, so we're going to just gently pour the lye in in a slow stream. You don't want to pour it too fast or it could come splashing out. And you see the lye is already chemically reacting with the oils. And we're going to just gently stir it for a moment. We're going to take the stick blender and we're going to look for trace. Trace is what we call the oils and lye after they've all been mixed together very well. It's going to reach the consistency of vanilla pudding. Now this process takes about five to seven minutes with the blender. What trace is, is the actual completion of the lye being mixed in with the oils. And you'll know you've got it when it resembles a vanilla pudding. Okay, so we've been blending for about five minutes and then we've reached a trace. So if you look, it's about the consistency of vanilla pudding. And if I stir it, it kind of falls back in waves, just like that. So then what's next? So we're going to cover this and our crock pot is on low and we're going to let it sit for an hour and cook and we'll check back in about 30 minutes and you'll start seeing what's going on. Okay, after about 45 minutes to an hour, this is what your soap is going to look like. It's going to kind of thicken up, change a little bit of color there. You may notice some like liquid on the top there. That's just glycerin as a result of saponification. You want to stir that back into your soap really good for your skin. Okay, I'm going to stir this up and then we're going to get ready to pour it into the mold. What I'm using is just a regular drawer organizer that you can get at Walmart. Um, I believe this one was like three dollars and I just lined it with some freezer paper and coconut oil to help the soap come out a little bit easier. So we're just going to carefully pour the soap into the mold here. It may look like it's going to overflow, but it's going to be awesome. We'll just spread it down and tap it down. Now the best part about this hot process soap is all the soap that's left over in that crock pot right there. The instant soap ready to use. The lye has already been completely saponified and the soap would be safe to use. So now we're just going to spread this in our mold. And we're going to let this sit overnight and let that cool completely and set. After 24 hours or overnight, we're going to take the soap out of the mold. And this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have one big giant block of soap. I just put it on a cutting board. And just take a big sharp kitchen knife and cut it into bars. Now, right now it's a little bit soft, but it will actually continue to harden up as it cures. And what that means is as the air hits it, it will continue to harden, but it's usable right now. This recipe makes about 32 bars that my family likes for about the size my family uses. And each bar usually lasts about, about a week to 10 days for five of us. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. This is the Homesteading Hippie, hoping that you enjoy your, this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out our channel. We'll have more videos coming soon. And thanks again to Imagination Studios. You'll find a link to his YouTube channel in the, in the comments as well. Have a great night.